I want to share with you guys a short story on the carpenter's pencil. The flat carpenter's pencil has been a longtime favorite of carpenters and roofers, woodworkers, and pretty much any tradesman in the construction industry, including myself. I primarily use a carpenter's pencil. Graphite, which is in the pencil, came into widespread use following a discovery of a large graphite deposit, and that was in Borrowdale, England, back in 1564. Graphite back then was appreciated because it left a darker mark than lead. And the mineral, it was kind of soft and brittle, so it required a holder. So they, was, they were wrapped up in string. They would wrap the stick up in string and try to use it as a pencil. Later, they figured out how to insert it into wood, and they basically took two wooden halves, carved with a groove running down them. Graphite was placed in one of the grooves, and then the two halves were glued together. That's pretty much how pencils are made today. Round pencils, flat pencils, they're all made the same way. The carpenter, the flat carpenter's pencil is often given out at lumber yards and, and building supply stores, often as a way to serve or service contractors for their business and, and also, you know, the lumber yards put their logos on them, right? Well, the popularity of the carpenter's pencil is due primarily to its shape and functionality. And there are five good reasons why we use flat pencils. First of all, then the main reason is why guys kind of favor these flat pencils is it's not going to roll off your work surface or materials you're working on, like a roof. The second reason is they're easier to grip than standard round pencils, and they have a larger surface area to grip. Thirdly, the non-rounded core allows for thick or thin pencil lines to be drawn by just rotating the pencil. Thin lines for high precision and um, easy to erase, and thick markings for framing or marking rougher surfaces, say masonry or something like that. This pencil does both just by rotating it. Four, carpenter pencils are larger and way more robust. They don't break as easily. The lead is stronger and it's able to withstand the stress of marking heavy coarse surfaces. And fi five, the, um, it's a great on-the-spot scribe in small gap situations. The measurement of the carpenter's pencil is consistent and deliberate to usually within a width of 19 30 seconds, sometimes a half an inch across the flat side. And the center point of the lead and where the edge of, of the lead falls in relation to the pencil edge means that you can use the flat side against another surface to scribe a 16th inch offset or even turn it on its side and, and get a bigger gap. So tell me, do you use a carpenter's pencil or something else? Please leave a comment on this video. Tell us what you use, share your tips. I'd love to hear what you guys do. And if you, um, if you enjoyed this video and all these video series that we're doing, please subscribe, hit that button below. We'll see you at the next video. Take care.